Me and Rihal are out here. I'm gonna go dangling for some bullheads. Do a little bullhead catch and cook. We're out here uh, at about, yeah, we're about 10.30. And we're setting down just a bobber and a jig with a worm on it. Just set that on the bottom. Ready? Yep. Oh yeah, beefcake, beefcake. Oh, snagged in yours. Rip. Beefcake. Choked it. You gonna get the boomstick or something? You think that's a neater? That looks pretty good. Yeah. Fortunately for you, buddy, uh. we're gonna get eaten. Okay. Don't get your. Yeah, are you tangled? Not bad. Rip. Did he choke it? Well, I have no idea what I'm doing. In uh, the world of catfish and bullhead, I have no idea what I'm doing. Except for how to catch them. I'm pretty good at that. But, anyway. No idea how to flay them, so we're just going to uh, search it up on YouTube real quick. And, uh, you guys stay tuned. Okay, so I found a pretty good video from a, a dude that I watch a lot. Uh, his, ch his channel, I'll link, in, I'll link in the description. Uh, Catfishing Carp. But he also has the Outdoor Boys channel. It's pretty sick. You guys got to check that out. But, um, it looks pretty simple to me. I guess I'll figure it out real quick. This is the size of bullhead we're working with, with uh, hand size comparison. We thought it was a pretty good size for eating, but I guess we'll find out. So basically what you're supposed to do is cut around the head, cut down the neck, the, the back, and kind of just peel it back, and then work your way around the backbone with the knife. But we'll follow this kind of as we go. We're using this. I'm going to use this knife. These knives are usually sharp enough to do whatever. So, I don't know if he's uh, out or not. But uh, we'll finish the job real, real quick here. I'm pretty sure he's gone, though. <laughs> Suppose we better get going. Just cut around. Go down the back here. Is that open? I guess we'll find out real quick. I mean, they sell actual pliers that are made for peeling catfish, but I mean, I guess we're working with. We got. Oh, look at that meat in there. That looks pretty smacking. Now, if I can get a good grip on there, I think I'll be set. Geez, that's tough. This thing's got some meat on it. God, yeah. It's coming off real nice. You really gotta put a little muscle into it. Mm-hmm. Look at that all all that meat right there. That looks pretty darn good to me. Well, let's get the other side and uh well, basically, what we have to figure out now is where the meat ends. I'm kind of getting a feel for when I'm just cutting in through here. Maybe there's some ribs in there. You never know. I guess we'll figure it out here in a second. Let's try the easy side first. Okay. Quite a bit of meat. I'm missing about half of it because... Uh, Kind of my, it's kind of my first time flaying a catfish, but it's a pretty good flay right there, I guess. 
Pretty thick. I mean, that'll work. Same. About the same. Uh, it's a little shorter, but there's a lot of meat in there. That'll work. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and clean all this mess up and get to cooking. You guys stay tuned. I just gotta get these flays in some cold water, rinse them off real nice, and uh, get them breaded up with a special mixture we got going. Putting this stuff in the egg, and we crushed up some hot Cheetos. We're gonna try that out. Mm -hmm. Smacking. Right outside the house, we got the pan, the tongs, the propane, the oil, the Coleman grill. Well, so we start uh, getting our all ready here. Now, this is the first time that I've ever done this, so this is going to be a fun experience. I think this is the part for the uh, propane, and I'm supposed to put it somewhere. Screw it on. Nice. Phil. Yeah. Mo. Where's she at? Oh. Where? Rip. Where? There's something going around you right in there. Really? <laughs> oh, there's no way he could have gone under. He's definitely just chilling there. Are you strapped? I'm not strapped, dude. Maybe after the wacky worm, you know? It smells so good. Kind of tasty. Yeah. Well, back to the old grill piece here. Trying to distract me with all this mouse nonsense. What now? Oh. What? It broke? Oh, on the white shorts. I squeezed it like that, you know, and then I was going to... We got the oil getting heated up. We're going just low heat, you know, make sure that oil's hot, but not too hot, because we want that catfish to get cold, uh, fully cooked. But actually, this is the first time I've used the Coleman grill. Looks nice, I mean, it works good, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, geez. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. Popping. And we're just gonna turn the heat off and let the oil kind of just cook the rest of it. But I don't want to overcook nor undercook this thing, so I kind of want to check on it every once in a while. Oil's popping. That's kind of scary. But just let the uh, oil. Cook the rest of it and we'll get the taste testing. Looks about done, eh? Is that looking good? Looks about done? Yeah. You wanna take a bite? Yeah. Oh, that's crunchy. Is it good? It's good, but a bit chewy. Oh, it tastes just like the buffalo sauce. Really? Mm -hmm. I might need to go in for really chewy. Bite of my own. Does that mean it's uncooked or overcooked? Probably overcooked. Over. Well, better safe than sorry, right? Or it's just all the fishes. Yeah. You can't really taste the. You can't really taste the cheat. Oh, there's a little Cheeto in there. But it's not that good. It's not like flavorful at all. Mm -mm. No flavor. No flavor at all. A little Cheeto flavor, a little fish flavor, but that's all. I mean, if I were to rate this out of 10, I'd probably give it a, a 6. 5. 5? Five? Five. Dang. 
low rating for the bullhead. I mean, we got some meat off of it. It is a bit chewy, but that's all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and uh, clean up the oil. Thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe for more.